welcome back to Just Maria D. It is indeed Maria D and I have started the keto diet. Now I'm not going to go into all the ins and outs of that with macros. There are far better channels that you could go and watch to see that kind of thing. For me I was watching uh, Keto Chaos which is Tammy's channel and I'll put a link down below for her and I've also discovered one in England which is um, I think Ginger's Keto in UK or something like that but I will also put a link down for her channel as well. Both are really helpful. I find Ginger's channel helpful because of the products that you can buy in the UK. Now this omelette I have made with leek. The original recipe said a fifth of an onion but I had some leek to use up and it's also lower in carbs so it's a better choice really given that I had it. I'm now dicing, well chopping roughly three mushrooms. I keep my stalks in when I eat my mushrooms, well not in but I use them as well. I know lots of other people don't but I do. I also don't peel the skins off my mushrooms because I like to eat it whole. I am using a, a full strength cheddar cheese, mature cheddar cheese and I'm going to try and aim for about 30 grams of it. I have shredded it myself but if you buy shredded cheese you can do that. I just think it's better value for money to shred my cheddar cheese myself. I have just recently done another recipe where it called for mozzarella and you can bet your bottom dollar I bought that shredded. There was no way I was <laughs> shredding mozzarella balls. Here we're aiming for 30 grams of unsalted butter. And this is just simply to fry the leek and the mushroom in so that not only are you getting, it is helping you get your fat content for the day. Keto is high in fat, moderate protein, low in carbs, but it also tastes yummy as well. If you don't like butter, you could use an oil. I just love butter. I'm now putting three eggs into a bowl. I'm not actually going to whisk them just yet because... I'm a bit of a systematic cook. You'll see when I do them in a moment. The butter is in for melting, the leeks go in and the mushrooms will follow also. Now the reason why I do it this way and lots of other people do it this way I suppose is because I like to give them a chance to cook and soften before the egg goes in. Now I understand there's lots of people that know how to make omelette but you just never know whether there's somebody out there that doesn't so I thought I would do a video. As that is all frying up I am now whisking the eggs. My home economics teacher would have been proud of my kitchen organisation there making best use of time when I had it. <laughs> just pushing them around a little bit to coat them in the butter. I've also added in some salt and pepper at this point onto the vegetables themselves rather than into the egg mix you can do it how you like I just happen to like it doing that way, that way now the egg goes in as you can see the leek has started to wilt a little bit so it will be nice and soft in my omelette which is great I'm just gently pushing away the big chunks of mushroom in particular from the edge of the frying pan and that's just to make sure that the egg gets in there to hold it all together better sometimes if you've got big chunks of something or other on the edge then it isn't bound properly and it kind of falls apart a little bit as you get it out of the pan. Gently sprinkling the, well I don't know why I said gently, <laughs> gently sprinkling the cheese on the top of the omelette so that it doesn't hurt itself. <laughs> yeah just trying to get it as uh, equidescent equal across the uh, <laughs> omelette as you can so that you get that nice cheesy flavour. If you don't like mature cheddar you don't have to do that. You can use a mild one. I just really like the flavour. I have put it under my grill. The amount of time this omelette is under there uh, doesn't cause any damage to my frying pan but please do be careful with yours uh, and we'll make sure you watch it. And there it is. I just like to lightly brown it on top so it's not overdone and dish it up. I'm not clever enough to pull a whole omelette <laughs> out of my pan all at once so I've cut it into quarters. As I said earlier omelette is usually quite a common thing to make but you just don't know whether somebody has never made one before and needs to know. 
Uh, but yeah, I've been Maria. You've been awesome. There will be other keto recipes soon and I'll catch on the flip side. Bye for now. <laughs>